Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, I have a Ripple news for you and Ripple have welcomed a new attorney and uh, this attorney is going to defend them uh, or defend rather Brad Gallinghouse in court uh, in the case against the SEC. Now this story and more will be coming your way so please do consider subscribing. We are also going to look at XRP predictions as well so feel free to stick around. Now let's start with the um, SEC Ripple lawsuit update and attorney James K. Phelan who often shares news regarding the Ripple's um, legal defense in the SEC case. Well, James Phelan has tweeted that a new lawyer has joined the Ripple team and uh, this lawyer is named Nicole Tatz from the law firm Cleary Gottlieb Steen and Hamilton LLP. Now, Tats will be representing the interests of the CEO Brad Gallinghouse. And according to the website of the law firm, in her practice, Tats focuses on litigation and enforcement. Now, while of course Ripple sees a new lawyer join the team, well, the SEC sees one of its attorneys leaving the battlefield, as we reported previously. Senior trial counsel uh, at the securities agency Doug and Bliss has left the SEC, and this is after working for it for over 10 years. Now, at the moment, he seeks the court's permission to withdraw from working on the Ripple case, and uh, we are still yet to hear the, re uh, the, the response from the courts. So that is what is going on in the Ripple SEC lawsuit updates. And moving on, let's look at Cardano's news and representatives of the Input Output Hong Kong team behind the development of Cardano's other blockchain solutions are celebrating an ambitious milestone. Now, according to the latest mid-June development update by Input Output Hong Kong's marketing director Tim Harrison. Well, the first smart contracts of Cardano's testnet, which is known as Alonzo, are up and running. Now, smart contracts are written in Platus, Platus, uh, which is uh, actually a Cardano specific programming language. And now the testing of the contracts will undergo Alonzo Blue phase the first stage of Alonzo testnet. Now Alonzo Blue transactions are validated by a limited squad of staking pool operators and uh, early Cardano's other enthusiast or pioneers if I may say. And also experiments are supported by a number of external teams and for the next phase of testing Alonzo White is expected to start in July with 500 testers on board. Now, when it comes to first use cases of Cardano's smart contracts, well, developers also unveiled what the first use cases Cardano's other smart contracts are tailored for. And uh, of course, even in its nascent stage, Cardano's other programmatic environment addresses a variety of decentralized finances segments. Now, before I go, let us look at the market and uh, especially the XRP price and XRP price predictions. Well, the Ripple XRP multi time frame analysis has actually projected a test of the $1 levels. Now, XRP price remains very reluctant despite the bullish hammer trigger on the daily chart. But of course, for now, Ripple continues to be influenced by the broader cryptocurrency market vibration than anything specific to the digital asset. Now, as long as XRP price remains locked in a price range uh, defined by the psychologically important $1 level and the $0.76 cents level, then uh, basically investors should target a swing trade opportunities and keep one eye on the bigger picture. So basically, 
there will be a triangle pattern um, happening and uh, this will be between the prices of one dollar and 76 cents so uh, if you are a day trader or a trader in specific just uh, look out for swing trade opportunities between these prices uh, if you want to make money but uh, more importantly we should keep an eye on the bigger picture of the prices of xrp as well so yeah thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please do consider subscribing and also giving us a like and until the next update thank you very much bye, -bye. And guys, if you are planning to take advantage of the current dip in the prices of cryptocurrencies and you'd like to buy a crypto as well as getting up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. Now, if you open an account with Webull and fund it 100 US dollars, now you get the chance to win free stocks that are valued up to up to 1600 US dollars. Now, who doesn't like free stocks? So follow the link in the description and join Webull right now. It offers stocks like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Neo, and the likes. But it also offers uh, cryptocurrencies where you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and all the major cryptocurrencies on Webull. So please follow the link on the description. So that is what is going on in the Ripple SEC lawsuit updates. And moving on, let's look at Cardano's news. And representatives of the Input Output Hong Kong team behind the development of Cardano's other blockchain solutions are celebrating an ambitious milestone. Now, according to the latest mid-June development update by Input output Hong Kong's marketing director Tim Harrison well the first smart contracts of Cardano's testnet which is known as Alonzo are up and running now smart contracts are written in Platus Platus uh, which is uh, actually a Cardano specific programming language and now the testing of the contracts will undergo Alonzo blue phase the first stage of Alonzo testnet. Now, Alonzo Blue transactions are validated by a limited squad of staking pool operators and uh, early Cardano's other enthusiasts or pioneers, if I may say. And also, experiments are supported by a number of external teams. And for the next phase of testing, Alonzo White is expected to start in July with 500 testers on board.